was really dirty and now it's not. And like, it's so clean now. So cool. On this episode of Dirt Cheap Daily. Daily, 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 daily. All right, um, so far today, I put on the uh, rust converter stuff. Oba. And it's looking like it's doing its job. It looks like it's dried right here. And so, give that another few hours and then I'll be able to spray that. Hopefully it'll stay sprayed. I've cleaned all of the plastics in the sink this morning. Um, now I'm getting back in and I'm sore because I haven't crawled around inside my car for too long. Getting this bezel off it makes you feel like you're going to break it. There we go. Whoa! All right. All right, finished product. You can tell they're done when they puke their guts out to seal it all in. Anyway, yeah, that's done. All right, here we are. All back together. Looks pretty good. I mean, it's still a dirty interior, but it's smells nice. And it was a $950 car. So, can't complain too much. Well, squeaky clean. Um, the other thing I did, so the head unit also has a couple of USB ports on it. A fast charging port that you can plug into. And here's an easy connection, which I'm assuming also charges, but it also plugs in. So you could throw a USB stick in that one. Um, what else? Here's the box for that head unit, the A6 Pro. Entertainment for cars. Android in-car entertainment. It's pretty rad. Um, so it comes with two screen protectors. I still need to put one of those on. Um, it comes with this bezel that would go around the outside and make it a flush mount if that were more suiting for your style. Um, here's the OBD2. It's super tiny and I'm pretty sure it's made so it just stays in your OBD2 port. Some more wipes for the screen. Um, it does come with mounting brackets and screws. I didn't use them because I just screwed into the stock Forester mounts. This thing's red. Um, all of the luxury. When I was messing around in the engine bay, I found a sticker from some shop, and the timing belt was replaced at 121,000 miles. Right now there's 144,000 miles on it. So, um, unfortunately I don't have receipts from that to see if they also changed out any of the timing components. So that's an unknown. Unfortunately, by uh, the amount of shoddy workmanship with the stereo and the the subwoofer and the amp, I kind of worry that they only changed the belt to save some money. Yeah, that's it. That's my thousand dollar Forester. So I spent nine fifty on the car. Um, I put seventy five bucks worth of oil change, uh, air filter. I changed the cabin air filter. There's the old cabin air filter. Um, very nasty. That really goopy, nasty oil additive. Uh, the fuel additive, a couple of things of sea foam. I still want to sea foam the intake manifold. LL Bean leather is way nicer than your standard limited leather. So, 
I've been having issues with the brakes on this. The brake light is always on and the ABS light is always on. Whenever you have any kind of slippery surface and you use the brakes, the rears lock up a lot sooner than the front. And since it's slippery, you just spin out. Like the momentum of the car is going forward, push on the brakes, the rear brakes lock, and so the back end comes around. Super dangerous. I have been trying to read the trouble codes and it's not working. It's really frustrating. Yeah, there's the ABS plug and there's the ABS module with no plug connected and now it's full of snow and ice and so now I'm um, dealing with that with a blowtorch. It broke again. Well, this is the first time this car is broken anyway. So. Oh. I don't know how much you can actually see, but my control arm rusted through and snapped. And then my axle pulled out. So that's sweet. So I'm stuck. Parked illegally, both in all aspects of parking illegally on a permit only street, facing the wrong direction and very far out from the curb. I can't go anywhere and I'm just digging in. So waiting for a tow truck. Whoop de doo. <sighs> Got heated seats though. And it is not um, negative 10 today, so it's not as big of a deal. <sighs> Midwest cars. Crazy that it's rusty enough to break a control arm, but there's no rust showing on the body yet. Surprising. Oh, we're doing it. We're going anyway. Sorry, people. Oh, look at that wheel. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that a joke? <laughs> it's like way far out of the box.
That was pretty bad. Mildly amazing. I'm really happy that didn't happen while I was going down the freeway about three minutes before it did break. Golly, I wonder what the other side's look, side looks like.